Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Okay, I sound like a young child for playing that song, but I couldn't find anyone. So that, of course, is the Happy Birthday song, Happy Birthday to You for Kids, by Kid Boomers. I don't know if that's how you say it, but whatever. But, um, in the last chapter, chapter 17, The Proposal, we found out what Helen did for me. Is we finally found out what the other gift that he did for me was technically the ring because he decided to propose to me. So, and I don't know if you could see the ring, but it's there. So, um, today we are doing chapter 18, my 20th birthday. Oh my god, thanks, that means a lot to me. I love you, Helen said, getting up and walking over to me and pushing me up against the wall, up against my wall and crashing his lips on the mud. I put away, I love you more, I said. I put on my lipstick at 12 o'clock noon. Helen and I are downstairs making out on the chair in the living room. Do they ever get tired of that, Lee, you asked Jeff. Why do you care, Jeff asked. Well, they do that all the time, and it's getting annoying, Lee, you said. Lee, you shut up. If you don't like it, you can leave, I said. Six months later, a.k.a. June, June 29th at 8.30 p.m. Helen, do you know what tomorrow is, I asked while sitting in Helen's lap. The 30th of June, Helen said. Yeah, but there's a special holiday tomorrow, I said. Oh, right, it's your 20th birthday, Helen said. Good, you remember my birthday. You just need a little reminder, I said. Mix, what's your favorite kind of cake, Helen asked. White, I said. What about ice cream, Helen said. Sorry, Helen, I can't eat ice cream, I said. Oh, that must suck, Helen said. It's fine, I'm not a fan of ice cream, I said, getting up and stripping down to my underwear. <clears throat> and to be blatantly honest, I can't even eat, I can't eat ice cream. I am lactose intolerant. The next day. Makes get up, today is your birthday, Helen said, jumping on my bed. Helen, let me sleep, I said. No, you need to get up. Helen said, still jumping in my bed. No, I said, sweeping my legs, and Helen falls off my bed. Well, we'll be up pretty late for your present tonight, Helen said, getting off the floor and leaving my room. At 11.30 a.m. I'm laying on my bed, outlining and playing my iPod, iPod out, out loud on my bed. Baby, you up now, Helen asked, walking into my room and sees me lip singing. Hey, baby, come over here, I said. Helen walks over to my bed. What do you need? I put my clipboard and kneel on my bed and kiss Helen. That's what I wanted, sweetheart, I said. Next, Helen, can you, can you guys come down here? Slender yelled upstairs. Helen turns around. Jump on, baby, Helen said. I jump on Helen's back, then Helen, Helen, then Helen steadies himself before walking down Walks out of my room, out of his room, and down the stairs. What do you need? I asked. Happy birthday, Mix. Everyone said, Aw, you guys. I said, sliding off Helen's back. Mix, here's your knife. I sharpened it for you, Jeff Jane said, handing me a new knife. But this isn't my knife. It doesn't even look like mine, I said. 
We, Jane, Jeff, EJ, Ben, Sally, Toby, Maskey, Hoodie, and Liu, decided that you needed a new knife because if Jeff can't find his, he'll take the one that Helen gave you. Jeff said, Jane said. <clears throat> but it looks the same as my old one. How will anyone know it's mine? I said, turn it over. I turn it over and see that Mixed Emotions is engraved on the blade. Mixed you aren't allergic to dogs, are you? Jeff asked. Why do you ask? Why do you ask, I asked. Smile is at your feet, Jeff said. Is he supposed to look like that, I asked. Yeah, he was born that way, Jeff said. Speaking of dogs, Helen told me that you wanted a dog, so I got you a dog, Sunder said. Really? I asked, surprised. Yep, Sunder said. Where is it, and what kind is he? I asked. He's asleep in the kitchen, Sunder said. I walk into the kitchen while holding Helen's hands, and when I, and when I saw the littlest white furball, tears formed in my eyes, and I hugged Helen and cried into Helen's chest. I knew this would make you happy. Helen said while we're running back, Is this my present from you? I asked. No, this one is from Sunder, Helen said. I pick up the puppy, trying not to wake it up, and walk in the room. Oh my god, it's so cute! Can I pet him? Sally asked, right next to me. Yes, you may. And I know he's so cute. I said. What are you going to name it? Jane asked. Storm, I said. Four hours later, I'm upstairs with Storm, and he's just walking around my room. And he kind of walks... He kind of like... He kind of like... When he walks, he kind of, he like leans one, so like when he puts this leg forward, he kind of goes this way, so he's kind of walking kind of like wobbly, so it's adorable. Hey babe, I got some cake for you, You want, if you want, if you want some, Helen said. Thanks. Thanks, Helen, put it on my desk. I eat it later on that day. Oh my god, he's so cute, Helen said. He's not just cute, he's the smallest thing ever, I said. So where's this crate, Helen asked. It's downstairs in the living room, I said. Mix, do you need this? Jane said, walking into my room with everything I'll need to take care of Storm. Yes, thanks, Jane, I said. So, what do you want to do, Helen asked. I don't know, I said. Time skipping to 9.30, and everyone is fast asleep, and the storm is as well. He's sleeping in Helen's room for tonight. Okay, babe, you're ready for your present, Helen said. Helen asked. Yep, I said, I'm topping today, but only for today, Helen said. Warning, sexual content, if you don't want to read, just get to the next chapter. If you don't want to read, you have been warned. Helen goes over to my door and locks it, and of course, he closes the blinds. I have two presents for you, Helen said. Really? I asked. Yep, the first one is me topping you, the other one is this. Helen said, holding up a ball gag, leather with bands, a whip, and lastly, a blindfold. Helen, get away from me, I said, backing away from him. Mixed, are you okay? Helen said, you ha have a wh whip, I said. Sorry, babe. Sorry, baby, I forgot that the trigger's a bad memory. I meant to burn it. I promise I won't use it, Helen said. Okay, I said. If you're wondering why it triggers a bad memory, as you guys know, the way I became this person is I was whipped to death. So whips apparently trigger the memory of me being whipped to death, and that's why it triggers a bad memory. Helen dashes at me and attacks my faces with kisses. After a few minutes of kissing, he moves to my neck and bit my neck. When he bite, when he bit my neck, I jump, I jump up, and he caught me and walked over to my bed and laid me down on the bed and took my shirt off. I put all the wristbands and locked them to the bedpost. Baby, this might hurt, but trust me, I'm not trying to hurt you, Helen said. I nodded, Helen unlocks my arms and flips me over and connects my wristbands behind my back and grabs the wooden pal that Toby made for him. The pal hits my ass and I jerk as it hit. This should shut you up. Open your mouth, Helen said. I did as I was told and Helen put the ball gag in my mouth. There, that should keep your moans of pains quiet. Helen said Helen picks up the pal and hits my ass about 50 times, and he unlocks my wristband and flips me over and locks my wristband back to the bedpost and puts the blindfold on. You ready, Mixed? I'm gonna suck you, and then... I'm gonna suck you, then I'll fuck you, Helen said. 
I nod, and he starts to kiss my bare chest and suck in my headlights, and I'm sending him for nipples. And I moan, but it's hard because of the ball gag. Then Helen gets off my bed, took off his pants, and started to lick my bare chest. Next, Helen undid my belt, and then my pants, and slipped my pants down all the way, and threw them on the floor. Then Helen starts to grind her packages, sending them for penis together, and I start to hyperventilate. Oh, you like that, baby? Helen asks. I nod, and Helen took up the last plates of her clothing, sock and un our sock and underwear. Then did the same with me. Then my erection pops up, and Helen sucks my heart on. After 15 minutes of, of Helen sucking me, I came in his mouth. It's so warm, Helen said. Helen grabs a condom and lube out of the nightstand table and puts the condom on and applies lube to my ass. Helen starts to penetrate my ass and I jolt and I jolt him by the ball gag when he penetrates my ass. Oh my god, you're so fucking tight, Helen said. Helen pounds my boy cunt, sending him for anus into oblivion until he ejaculates in my ass and pulls out and lays on my bare chest and takes the ball gag and blindfold off as well as the condom and throws the condom away. Mixed, I love you. Helen, I, I love you, Mix, Helen said. I love you too. Can you unlock my wristband so I can hug you, I asked. Sure, baby, Helen said. Helen unlocked my wristbands and I hug him. Helen pulls the covers over us. Cliffhanger. So that's the end of this chapter. I hope you guys like that and I will see you guys next time for chapter 19 and until next time now back to this bitch the have that to say about me the other day in the press youtube what's good Mwah.